Hi friends, how are you? Once again, I am sitting on the floor of my office because I have a bins haul to share with you. Now, full disclosure, this bins haul is actually from before I bought my two palettes. So if you wanna go back and watch that video of the two palettes that I bought, I'm gonna link it up here. But these items have been sitting on my <laughs> office floor and the entire palette has been like, dug through and organized all around this and it's time for me to go through this show you guys so that I can get this inventory processed all of that fun stuff so I'm just gonna jump right in I'm not gonna just you know go into a whole lot but I did get this at the Salt Lake City Goodwill outlet I don't believe I have my receipt on me but I think I paid about $42 for all of these items the Salt Lake City outlet the prices are $1.69 per pound, and then once you go over 25 pounds, it drops down to $1.49 per pound. So, jumping right in. We've got some <clears throat> Zella, and these are Z by Zella. These are a size four, classic jogger style pants with the elastic on the um, ankle cuff. And probably list these about 20, 25. They're in excellent condition, no issues. I have already washed all these clothes, so these are not supposed to be in there. <laughs> the next item is um, this one here. This is a White House Black Market. I don't usually pick this brand up unless it's for a very, very inexpensive price. And these all ended up being a dollar per item. So for a dollar, I will grab it, especially if it is this new label this is the newest white house black market label this is a size medium cute top on shoulder off shoulder um random purchase these little princess shoes and i will probably take these into my local kids consignment store and they had these at the goodwill for 99 cents but they ended up at the goodwill outlet so I bought those. The next item is this pair of OTBT. Let's see if you can see that. OTBT. These are really cute tie up front wedge sandals. Great condition, really cute. Wishing that these were my size because they are just fun, funky, perfect for summer wedge, great condition. Next, I found a La Sport sack, and it is a pretty, like, eggplant, deep purple plum, crossbody bag, really clean interior. I did wash all of these items, but this one looked like, when I bought it, it looked like it had hardly been worn. And then there is the label for La Sport sack, adjustable. Also, you guys, I am trying to get used to this new hair. <laughs> I'm, still, when I look in the mirror and I'm like, it takes me a second to recognize myself, but um, this is like what my hair naturally looks like. I'm going off on a random tangent, but typically I try to wear it straight, but I wanted to do the whole bangs thing again. And then today I just let it go curly. So this is like normal, natural hair. That's how much I love you guys. This is a Moonstone pullover jacket. This is really nice. It's one of those like lightweight windbreaker anorak style. So it's a half zip. I think, can't remember if this is men's or women's. It says it's medium. Um, these go for about 40 I've seen on Poshmark and on eBay. And just looking to see if there was another tag that said if it's men's or women's. I think it's men's. And I'm not finding anything right now, but I'll do some more research on that. And yeah, Moonstone, that's a brand that I had never heard of, but I will probably keep my eye out for it from now on, assuming it does well, who knows? Maybe it will have zero likes when I list it. This is a Madewell top. This one is a size extra small. This pretty window pane cropped. It's kind of like cottony material, it's not, like sweater knit material. It's more of that like stretchy cotton, um, a little bit thick, 
but I love that. I love this like turtleneck style to it. So that one was good to find. I feel like every time I go to the bins now, I find Eileen Fisher and this trip was no exception. So this one is Eileen Fisher. It's an extra large and it is this kind of like asymmetric hem cropped knit three quarter sweater. Very lagging look, looks very cozy. I like that one. I found a North Face tee. This isn't gonna go for a bunch. I'll probably list it for about 20, but I liked the color combo of like the pink and the heathered purple color. That one is a size small. We have next a American Eagle, and this is the new American Eagle um, like font that they use. And this one's a size medium. This is a pretty like waffle knit cropped sweatshirt style. Kind of has a high low hem to it. And I'm just curious about when this one was. Yeah, this is from August of 2020. So this is fairly new. I like this also with the mock turtleneck. So if I were into wearing cropped items, I would keep that because I love the color and I love the, the fabric. I'm just not, I'm just not into cropped. It's not my thing. I think it looks adorable on other people, but just not for me. This one is just a Prana sports bra. This is a um, size extra small. There's the Prana on the back, but it's really cute. It's got this like double layered um, bra look to it. And there is the Prana tag or the label or the emblem or whatever you wanna call that part of it. Uh, with that other American Eagle, I found this one as well. This is the boyfriend, boyfriend fit. I debated on whether or not to get this one because I'm not sure if this like washed look will still be in next year, but I went ahead and grabbed it. I figured if anything, it's like a nice summer pullover, like over a swimsuit kind of top. So I still think that it's like an all season shirt. This one is also a size medium. So it's probably from the same bag as that other American Eagle. And then this one is from November of 2015. So yeah, I like, I think this is cute. Next we have a Fabletics sweatshirt dress and it is like a three quarter length. It's got this little zipper on the side. Is that a stain? It looks like it might be. <laughs> it's got pockets. Isn't it funny how like things show up on camera that I would not have seen? Uh, I don't see it on here. Is it there still? Was that just the light? Yeah, it looks like a stain. A stain right there. But I will try to pre-treat that and see if I can get that to come out. So we'll see about that. Okay, so what's left in this bag is more shoes and handbags. So I found some very cute Sorel sandals. These are a women's size 10. And I love this like gold detail to them. So gold and tan, great condition. I mean, they look hardly worn. This, um, I saw it in a bin. And as I was unzipping it, I was like, this feels like hobo. <laughs> and it actually is, but it is a very old hobo style wallet. So if you can see there with that logo, this is the very nearly vintage hobo um, label made in Colombia. It's still such a great wallet. So I'm going to take some of my black polish. I'm going to polish up all these corners because they are all still in great condition. And then I'm going to rub some of that Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam on it. And yeah, I think I can get it looking pretty dang good. And then I'll probably list it for about 30. I'll see what the like going comps are for it, but still a great wallet. I love Hobo, one of my favorite leather goods brands. 
this one is a Nanette Lepore. Um, really pretty bag. And then I think it's like practically new. It still has this tag on it. And it is so pretty. It's a gorgeous like putty color. I mean, I don't think it's even been used. All the corners are in an excellent condition. It's got multiple pockets here. This is one of those items that I didn't even run comps on while I was there. I just grabbed it because for the condition and for the um, retail value, I knew that I could get something out of it. So I have no idea <laughs> if I get around to checking all the comps on all these items before I upload this video, I will let you guys know what I am planning to list these for, but for most of them, I really have no idea right now. This was a random find. I almost didn't grab it. And then I went ahead and did, and I'm like, you know what? I'll get something out of it. But this is a velvet velour, juicy crossbody bag. You can see there, juicy couture. It's got the little charm here. It's got this like top pocket leather trim, <laughs> just, you know, very nineties, early two thousands, Y2K nostalgia going on with this purse. So that's another great keyword to use right now is Y2K. It's that like, you know, the year 2000, very trendy, very hip, very nineties still. So, um, and then this one is a fossil. If I find fossil at the bins, I pick it up they usually sell between like 25 and 45, depending on what the piece is. But this I'll probably list for about 30. Take any offers I can get on it. The corners are all in really great condition. And if I remember right, it was very clean on the inside as well. I have an appearance for my daughter. You wanna come say hi? This is my daughter. She's gonna come and join us for a little bit. But these are Iviva shorts that I also picked up and there are they are reversible which is very cute and i'll probably list these for about 15. do you like going to the bins with me mm -hmm. what's your favorite thing to look for toys what kind of toys mm, american girl yeah they your favorite mm -hmm. yeah do you want to start handing me things and then I'll sh i can show them what they are uh the very first thing i found when i got there were these boots they looked like quality wait where at the bins. Mm. They looked high quality and they actually were, they are splendid. They don't resell for a whole lot, but they do retail for a lot. So these I loved. I kind of wish they were in my size. They're a seven and a half and just <laughs> a nice pair of basic, basic boots. What are you giggling at? What's so funny? <laughs> You're making funny faces. Okay, so next we have a pair of born pointed toe black boots and they're in really amazing condition. That's why I grabbed them. <laughs> and she's being too silly right now. So I really, really cute. Go I and like these. Do my thing. I know. Okay, so we're gonna say bye to Amelia. Bye. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be some editing going on right there. So I apologize if that was very choppy. But anyway, the next thing is a pair of Justin boots. I grabbed these just as I was leaving, and I think that someone had found them and threw them back because they were kind of near the register in the clothes. So um, these are great quality. I even looked them over over and over and over again because I have fallen victim to finding boots at the Goodwill outlet and they are trashed once I get home because I don't notice things like um, worn through on the bottom or like cracked heels, things like that. So these are in really amazing condition. They're kind of a cool like deep gray putty color and they really have hardly any wear to them. So. Those I think were a really great find, whoever didn't buy them and threw them back. Thank you, because then I got to grab them. I found this silk scarf. I don't see any kind of marking or branding on it, but I just thought it was really pretty. I felt like it could be a cute head scarf or tied onto a purse, something like that. So this next item is very random. This one, um, if you are familiar with Lily Pulitzer, you know these bright colors. So I saw this in a bin and I was immediately attracted to it. 
and I still grabbed it even though I'm not sure why to be honest but it is kind of like a like a little beach bag type um, drawstring and it is probably like a gift with purchase but it says on this label a GWP beach game gift with purchase Beach game in a canvas tote with acrylic dice shaker, 40 acrylic game pieces, three resin dice, and then of course, like I said, the bag that it's in. So you open up this little mini zipper here, and then there's all these like game pieces, and they're all still new. I don't know what game this is. It doesn't say on the card. Whoop! It doesn't say on the card, but some kind of game. So Lily Pulitzer game in a bag. I don't know if I can even like squeeze 10 bucks out of this, I'll do it. But, and if I can't, then I'll just keep it as a game for my kids to play. So yeah, like I said, very random and we'll see if that sells. It does say Lily Pulitzer right here on the side. So I have this, uh, cold water Creek skirt or nope, sorry, Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer long skirt denim for size four. Um, I'm not really, I kept going back and forth on this one and then I decided to just go ahead and get it mostly because I'm a sucker sometimes for buying items at the bins that are just practically brand new. And I, I just feel so bad sometimes of like leaving it behind when I know that someone could buy it for, you know, $20 and I can get some kind of profit. So am I super excited to list that? No, but sometimes I just, need to buy it. I need to buy it and sell it so someone can have it. This one was really exciting and then it turned into a little bit of a bummer, but I still think that it's going to sell. This is a fossil coat. It is a um, leather and wool blend um, bomber jacket. Sorry, I think some like fuzz or something. Um, it's a great jacket. I have sold a fossil leather coat before for about $150. This one, I wish I had inspected it better because one of the cuffs looks like it's been chewed up, which is a bummer, <laughs> such a bummer. Like maybe a dog or a puppy or something got to it. So I will definitely disclose that in the listing. And then I'm going to um, probably list it pretty dang low in the comps field because I still think it's a great looking jacket if it weren't for that flaw there. So did I even show you guys? So this is a fossil size medium. I grabbed a coach um, purse bag. That's not to resell, just to put a coach bag in for the next time I sell one. This, these are a pair of Levi's 711 skinny size 28 just like classic black skinny jeans. If people are still wearing skinny jeans, I know I am. Are you still wearing skinny jeans? Please tell me yes. <laughs> I'm just kind of sad to let them go. So this next item was pretty hard to read what it was at the bins, um, but the quality of it is what made me buy it. It's called, I'm having a hard time now. Nilly, Nilly Lowton. And I feel like I had heard about this brand at some point in someone's video. Maybe um, Courtney from Common Tags had mentioned it, but the quality of this linen dress was just what struck me. And I was like, gosh, I feel like that sounds familiar. I'm going to go ahead and get it because if anything, it's a gorgeous linen maxi dress. So beach cover up or like I don't know, whatever you want to wear this thing for. It is so beautiful. It's got all this embroidery here on the front. I'm trying to show you guys the bottom and it is so long, but yeah, there's that. So we'll see. I'll put some comps down below and let you know what I'll probably list it for. This one is Urban Outfitters. Kind of kept going back and forth on this one too. And then I decided it's so lightweight. I would go ahead and get it kind of a midi length skirt with these fun patchworky looking panels and it's a pretty floral slit on the side urban outfitters size medium 
And then I found two Free People shorts right next to each other in the same bin. These are, oops, wrong way. <laughs> these are Free People. Um, these are a size small. And then, like I said, next to it was this pair. And I didn't know that these were Free People at first until I looked at the front button. So there is where it says free people. So I almost passed over this pair and then I went back and looked at them. So the problem I think is that they don't have a size, but I am assuming that they are a size four because they were with the other free people shorts that are a size four. But of course I'm going to measure, compare, and list them knowing that I'm not positive what the size is, but they're really cute. We've got a Simply Southern t-shirt that I think my daughter is going to end up keeping. It's got this cute little dog on the back. Not that these go for a whole lot. I'd probably list it for about 15. This is a, I think it's Free People Beach. It's We The Free. And it is a size small and it is this like um, Terry is that what it's called? Like a sweatshirt material, little shrug type jacket. Looks really cozy. I like this one. We've got another pair of American Eagle Distress Cutoff Shorts because these sell pretty quickly for me around $20, 15 to $20. This is a Project Social Tea and it is a size small. It's so, so cozy, so soft. I love this color. I love this tie in the front. I really wish this was my size, but it's not. So that will get listed. Oh, I just love that. We've got another, let's see, not another, sorry. Then we've got a Victoria Sport. Um, it's like an off shoulder, cowl neck sweatshirt. Again, this one's like ridiculously cozy and soft. That one is a size medium. We've got another Eileen Fisher. This one I kept going back and forth on because it's white and I just knew when I got home I was going to find a spot or something on it, but I haven't found one. So maybe it'll show up in this video, but I'm not seeing it. It's not even that dingy or anything either, which I'm surprised by white and I'm not seeing like crazy pit stains or anything. So that is Eileen Fisher linen, kind of like a linen shirt jacket, shacket. We've got some cute little Nike tennis skirt, um, athletic short skirt type thing going on. Very cute. I think that's an extra small. Nope, that's a small. And then the last clothing item is another American Eagle. I found it with those other two American Eagle pieces. This one is these American Eagle soft and sexy plush size small. And it's this ribbed cropped hooded top. And again, crazy cozy, like, oh, so soft. I want to wear this but it's not my size. And this one is from May of 2018. So again, very super cute. That whole, all those sweatshirts were kind of like in that same color, that same like color way. Like, I love it. I love those colors. And then the very last thing I got was this puzzle. This is new in box. It is still sealed. Um, pomegranate is the brand and it is a puzzle of Niagara Falls by Frederick Edwin Church is what this painting is of. And yeah, these go probably about 15 to 20, depending on what the actual scenery is or picture of the puzzle is. So I'll do some comps. I'll check and see what these go for. So that is everything I got from the bins. I am putting going to the bins on hold for quite some time 
I still have so much inventory to process. Um, but I really just needed to go through these items, show you guys what I got so I can get them listed and inventoried, put away so they're taking up less space in my office because even this much space <laughs> is taking up too much space. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. And I would love it if you guys would like and subscribe to this video. Let me know what other kind of videos you would like for me to do in the future. I have some plans for some other videos, but I would love to hear what you guys would like to see. So hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks again for watching. Bye.